prohibitive bit because people are shopping on the internet. Okay, if this goes through where you have to pay taxes through the internet, it's six and a half percent. And Hot Springs would pay eight and a half percent taxes. I'm still not going to shop at the store in Hot Springs. In Conway, yeah. guess what we spend in yes. Conway? Yeah. 10.5 percent. So, so why and, and guess, huh? that's where the hands, hamburger tax. Well, that's with the hamburger tax. Yeah. And otherwise, 8.75. 8.75. So the average is what, 10 percent when you combine it all? So why would you not go with the six and a half Second highest in the nation with the sales. Well, and also, you know, I, 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 it's about getting the money so they can spend it. But, they, but there's, they're, 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 they're not going to, it's not, it's not going to change a whole lot. And, and I, don't, I don't want to send money to the city of Conway. We're a lot, we're a, John. We're a lot of shopping. Yeah, just talking about the uh, number of people in government working. Maybe somebody here can help me with this. There is a theory in uh, personnel work that says that when you create jobs, there is work that will be created to fill those jobs. Yes. I, I saw that at the end of the Vietnam War. I was in the Defense Intelligence Agency in Washington. We had a whole big staff of people, there was 150 some people working in photo interpretation for Southeast Asia, Vietnam. Okay, it was letting down, so they said, oh wait, we're gonna lose this whole section here. I went to a meeting and I watched an Air Force captain who was good on statistics prove that we could not lose one of those people in spite of losing <laughs> Southeast Asia re responsibility. And he won it. And they kept all those people in spite of the fact that you no longer have that requirement. So now they're spying on the government, government doesn't so. tend to shrink. No. <laughs> no. One of the things that Trump is supposed to talk about tonight is his increased budget for military spending and where he's going to get the money from what I'm reading. He says he's going to squeeze the agencies for efficiency. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm just going to come back to that same point. This is the man who's saying what he's going to do, then he's going out and doing it, and people are lapping it up like cats with mills. So what's wrong with the state of Arkansas that they are not even willing to discuss the idea? of finding those cuts. Town hall with the governor. That's what you'll need. No, you need to have a town hall with the governor with two microphones and everybody watching. I have the will to make this happen and I'm going to make it. Big town hall meeting. I don't know. Hey, hey, get these you're, right, you're right. I mean, right. they just don't want to investigate anything. Like yeah. It says Arkansas state government is the largest single employer in the state. You would it's crazy. sort of think that. Figures from the state employment security division put the put a current number. And this was dated last fall. Uh, it, this included higher higher education. Uh, Six hundred. I mean, sixty thousand five hundred employees. Walmart employees thirty two thousand. Tyson's twenty one thousand. Baptist Hospital System, 6,000. You, you factor in 101,500 local government employees. And you combine that state and local government, you have 162,000. Then you add in 21,400 federal employees working in Arkansas. And so you see what the number is 180. Uh, 21,400. And so the government employees in the state of Arkansas tops out at 183,400. Divide that by 75. I would just feel like, you know, if we just, I know it's not equally proportioned by counties, but I would love, that's, that's wild. How many people do we have employed in the state of Arkansas? The largest employer. I don't know. We have three, right at three million. All right, so what we have about maybe 900,000 people working? Well, we have a million five, let's say a million fifty thousand on Medicaid expansion. So they're not workers, are they? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. hey, uh, what was that number again? I'll do the division for Which, which one? Uh, okay, the 183,000. 183,000. Uh, about 75 counties? Yeah. 2,440. 2,000 a lot. Well, you know, DHS has got like 7,000 employees <laughs> by themselves. Yeah. Well, just think about this. You got, you got 100 and, was it 176 superintendent of schools? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Imagine how 
Well, this manage the education system is. Not including assistant superintendents. You should have like one superintendent per school. Maybe. I mean, you but, but have a leadership how, role and you have a, you have a, 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 but look a how principal. But schools and have go. improved tremendously in spite of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Parents are having to send the kids 